Y'all got some water? Hey, I'm Yakira. I'm from Westchester County, New York. I'm Jordan. I'm from Jersey. My name is Nigel Laverty. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. So my husband's a chef, and he actually taught me my cornbread recipe. This recipe was passed down to me by the great, great ancestors on Google, OK? My cornbread is going to be the bomb because I followed a recipe, and I just feel like you can't go wrong there. My cornbread is going to be the best because it's moist, and it's just the perfect texture. Confession, this is the third time I've made a cornbread from scratch. Personally, I think it's the best because I like sweet, like thick cornbread. I think when people bite into my cornbread, they're really gonna get a nice hit of that honey flavor. When I taste other people's cornbread, I'm looking for texture. I don't wanna feel like I'm eating a Popeye's biscuit and I'm like choking on your cornbread. I like my cornbread to be moist and I like it to have a nice, like, you know, a honey butter taste to it. I want cornbread that makes me want some butter. Like if you bite into it, then you're just like, oh my gosh, tomorrow when I warm this up with some butter, it's gonna be a hit. That's the kind of cornbread I like. So this cornbread is a, a bit thinner, which I actually like. Because it's a little thin, in my brain, I want to say it's jiffy. Presentation, it could be better. Cornbread is supposed to be in squares. Don't give me a triangle of cornbread. It's supposed to be a square. This one looks like it falls apart, which I think could be a good thing. <laughs> Texture-wise, it's really good. Flavor-wise, um, it tastes a bit bitter. I was not expecting it to be salty. It's not that sweet. And I feel like cornbread should be a bit sweeter. Y'all got some water? I think that if they added a little bit of sugar, that it could have saved the cornbread. But as far as flavor, it's not my favorite. If somebody is bringing this cornbread to the family function, it's probably going to be a lot of cornbread left over. I definitely don't think a grandmother made this or an auntie because I felt like this is very new coming cornbread. Like they're not that well seasoned. Maybe it's their second try. This will never, okay, be confused with my cornbread because I know better. My friends know better. They better know better. This does not taste like my cornbread, but it was a good try. I mean, the consistency of it isn't like the worst thing I've ever had. If we're talking about whole texture and everything, to be honest, I would give it a four just because the flavor wasn't the best. The salt is still on my tongue, y'all, okay? I'm gonna have to give this cornbread probably about like a 1.5. Yeah, um, okay, next. Ladies and gentlemen, we have before you the corn muffin. This one is actually really cute because it looks like they baked it in like a cupcake pan. It's okay. It's better than the last cornbread. I think it's a little um, gritty and dry. I like my cornbread on the sweeter side. However, this is good. Like I wouldn't be mad if somebody pulled up to the family function and they presented us with these corn muffins. I'm getting a little bit of sand vibes. It probably needs more butter or something along those lines. They got little texture things going on. It's like the mushiness of the bread and it's the crunch on the outside. So this is a hit, not, not too bad. I definitely think that this cornbread is box made. It just doesn't have that from scratch bit of love in it. Compared to my cornbread, I might be ahead by just a little bit. If this cornbread was served at one of my family functions, you know, we would probably just remember, keep it in mind for next year that they should not make the cornbread. Maybe make something else or bring drinks and utensils. This is a corn muffin, not cornbread. Y'all ain't tell us to make corn muffins. Y'all told us to make cornbread. But if I must rate it, I'm gonna give it a solid seven. I think that's a good landing. If I had to rate this cornbread on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give it a four. And that's me being a little generous. So this definitely looks like traditional cornbread. From the look of it, it looks like it's cooked properly. It's not too light. It definitely looks a little bit more moist than the last one I tried. It has a bit of that, not burnt, but browning on the side. It's firm, a little sticky on top. It's an interesting texture. It does have a taste to it that's a little different. It's sweet, but it's really dry. It's good, but it has a, a weird aftertaste, if you ask me. It's gonna sound so weird, but it's kind of like reminded me of like lotion or something. It gave me that feeling of when you eat a Popeye's biscuit and the texture is just almost choking you. Oh, nobody would confuse this as my cornbread. 
I think whoever made this cornbread is not their strongest asset and they should definitely try to bring something that they're good at unless they want everyone to choke. I want to give it like a five because it definitely is more moist than the last one I tried. I think that taste is the most important with cornbread. So based on taste, I'm going to give it a five. I would love to just thank everyone for picking me as the winner. I would love to thank my husband for teaching me how to make cornbread, for working at a soulful restaurant and making cornbread at his restaurant. I really appreciate everyone for understanding that my cornbread was the best. If you want to make the right cornbread, remember moisture is key, flavor is key, don't be afraid to add your sugar, and texture is everything. Please don't choke everybody with your cornbread. <laughs>